Good morning. So today we are looking at Psalm 10. And I wanted to just start out by reading the entire psalm for us. It's 18 verses. It, As I was reading through it, it there's a lot in there. Um, just David really crying out about just the the evils of the world and just how hard it is sometimes just seeing just people and the the hurting that they that they're feeling and just the um the evil in this world and so i just want to read it the whole thing for us right now so psalm 10 says why lord do you stand far off why do you hide yourself in times of trouble in his arrogance, the wicked man hunts down the weak, who are caught in the schemes he devises. He boasts about the cravings of his heart. He blesses the greedy and reviles the Lord. In his pride, the wicked man does not seek him, and all his thoughts, there is no room for God. His ways are always prosperous. Your laws are rejected by him. He sneers at all his enemies. He says to himself, nothing will ever shake me. He swears no one will ever do me harm. His mouth is full of lies and threats. Trouble and evil are under his tongue. He lies in wait near the villages. From ambush, he murders the innocent. His eyes watch in secret for his victims. Like a lion in cover, he lies in wait. He lies in wait to catch the helpless. He catches the helpless and drags them off in his net. His victims are crushed. They collapse. They fall under his strength. He says to himself, God will never notice. He covers his face and never sees. Arise, Lord, lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the helpless. Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself, he won't call me to account? But you, God, see the trouble of the afflicted. You consider their grief and take it in hand. The victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked man, call the evildoer to account for his wickedness that would not otherwise be found out. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations will perish from his land. You, Lord, hear the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them, and you listen to their cry, defending the fatherless and the oppressed, so that mere earthly mortals will never again strike terror. As I was reading through this psalm, it really struck me um, just how how we can relate it to to our lives right now. Just there's just so much stuff going on that it we can get bogged down by all of the just the heavy things going on in our world and in our country. And I think that really parallels with this psalm of just just David crying out of like of just seeing all of this evil in the world, but the comfort here is in verse 14 it says but you god see the trouble of the afflicted you consider their grief and take it in hand the victims commit themselves to you you are the helper of the fatherless and then later on in verse 17 you lord hear the desire of the afflicted you encourage them and you listen to their cry and so while there's a lot going on in our world and a lot that we are constantly seeing and just struggling with and in our own lives there's all kinds of things that we could be dealing with but god hears us god hears our cry and god helps helps those who who love him and that he he sees he sees the grief of the afflicted and takes it in hand that he doesn't just let us go through these things but he's there and he he is he's there to comfort and deliver us and i think that that is a, a comfort to us in this time just I, as we get so weighted down by everything that we're saying seeing on social media or the news or everything but that that god is there and he um that he delivers us and so let's pray Father, I just thank you that you care for us and love us. I just ask that you would just continue to bring us comfort as we are are struggling with with things in our lives and the things of this world and just ask that you 
that you would deliver us, that you would bring us out of of the the troubles that we may be in, and that you would just lift us up and comfort us. In your name we pray. Amen. <laughs>